house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother Canada the Three updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is John, aka JC122994. And his question is, would I enjoy a season of Survivor with all past Big Brother house guests? The answer is yes. Um, and he wants to know, which ones do I think um, would be good on the show? Well, we've already seen Hayden uh, on Survivor. He did pretty well. What did he make, like, final... Four? What, yeah, whatever it was, but he was really good. Um, I would like to see a season with people who would not be good in the wilderness. Give me your Victorias. Uh, I could see like maybe uh, Brittany Haynes. Um, Brandon. Yeah. Um, give us some Will Huser. I'd love to see Will Huser on Survivor. I don't know. I just think it'd be cool to see people who are like really high maintenance and see how they do. Okay, so. Back to the game. Yesterday they had the Have Not competition, the first of the season, and the participants were the first eight eliminated from the HOH competition. And they were Bruno, Kevin, Brittany, Neha, Godfrey, Jordan, Zach, and I think the last one was Johnny, but I'm not totally sure on that. Um, so it had something to do with like throwing balls. I don't know if it was like, a dodgeball thing or what, but I think they were in two teams of four. I think. Again, not totally sure on that. The feeds were down for like three and a half hours while this competition was going on. And at the end of all of that, the have-nots for the week are Brittany, Jordan, Godfrey, and Neha. So not only are they on slop this week, but they also have to sleep in the have-not room, which is pretty much a dark, empty cell. Um, they don't have any beds or anything. They just have like these pads to sleep on, and they're not allowed to have any blankets. So it's pretty cold in there. That sucks. So now it's time for our alliance check-in. So one of the big alliances that's emerging right now is called the Chop Shop. They have this really annoying chop thing they do. Please stop. <laughs> it's called Please Stop. So there are six members, Bobby, Bruno, Greg, Zach, Willow, and Ashley. So Greg is freaking out of control. He is so... Paranoid. I don't think he's talked anything other than game since the feeds came on. Like, seriously, he's always talking game. He's out of control. Um, he can't even go to the bathroom without talking game. He was up in the HOH bathroom with Bobby, and it's really weird because they have, like, a curtain that, like, closes off the toilet. So Greg is freaking sitting there. He's got the curtain here, and he's like, let's talk, uh, who's going up on the block? And I was just like, close the damn curtain! Ah! So, yeah, it was really gross. Um, but I don't see this alliance lasting very long. It reads very bomb squad to me. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be good. Um, another alliance, the Fortress, Kevin, and Jordan. This is a total knockoff of the Shield. They think they're going to be better than the Shield. Well, Kevin does anyway. Uh, Jordan is just playing along right now. He said that he's faking it. Not to Kevin, obviously. But everybody knows that Jordan is in a twosome with Zach. So there's no room for Kevin. <laughs> um, and Cindy, I don't know if she really has any alliances per se, but she is really getting her flirt on. She was cuddling with Bobby. She was getting a sensual back massage from Greg. And then they were cuddling, and it was so blah that Godfrey put a sock on the door. <sighs> yeah, but I'm saying, Cindy, you know what? Play those guys. Do your thing. Why not? Why not? So, they had the nomination ceremony today, and the feeds were blocked out all morning for it. Um, so Bobby, like we discussed, decided to play it safe. He nominated Brittany and Kevin. They were the first two out of the HOH competition, so that was his excuse. Um, and at that point, it seemed like Kevin was the target. Kind of. Because Zach and Jordan are all like, if Kevin wins the power of veto, this is the perfect opportunity to nominate and evict Johnny. Now, I talked a little bit about yesterday how they wanted to get rid of Johnny. It turns out they're really scared of him because he is a huge social threat. He gets along so well with everyone, and that makes everyone really nervous. So, it looks like Johnny could be in trouble. And, um, Jordan decides to tell Kevin that he's the target. So, he's kind of... Ooh. He tells Jordan, no, Jordan tells Kevin that he's the target. Um, so the thinking behind this, Jordan wants to keep Kevin because he's got that 
fortress alliance with him. Even though he's not really totally loyal to him, it's always good to have people that you know are loyal to you. So he wants to keep Kevin in the house. He's worried about Johnny. So he lets uh, Kevin know, you need to win that POV. Speaking of the power of veto, they picked the players earlier today. The host is Jordan. And the players, uh, of course, the HOH Bobby, the two nominees, Kevin and Brittany, and three extra players, Willow, Godfrey, and Johnny. So after the players were picked, things started to get really real. <laughs> Chaos, craziness. So Cindy, Neha, and Sarah were discussing how surprised they were that Godfrey was not nominated because... Everyone thought that he was going to be up on the block, and they were just like, what changed? What happened? Why is he not up on the block? So Kevin overheard this, and he brought this conversation up to Bobby and Johnny. He's like, oh, I heard Cindy talking to the girls, and they've got this girls' alliance going on, and they're saying how they would never vote out another girl, and uh, it's bad. So Bobby and Johnny were just like, oh, my God, thank you for telling us this, like, I'm so glad you told us we got to get rid of all the girls. So Kevin then goes ahead and tells all the other guys what he heard, including Greg. Oh, you know when Greg finds out, he's going to freak out. So yeah, people are freaking out about this. Um, they're all saying like, oh, the line has been drawn in the sand. Like it's guys versus girls now. Um, Greg is saying that Cindy is the ringleader of the whole thing. They need to get rid of her. And Bobby's like, oh yeah, she's got to go. If the power veto's used, she's going up. Because Kevin also claimed that uh, Cindy was throwing Bobby's name out there as somebody they need to get rid of soon. So everybody's like freaking out. And amidst all this chaos, it kind of looks like Kevin may have saved his A. And possibly Johnny's too, because Johnny was going to be in trouble. But now it looks like it could be a girl going this week if the power veto is used. I don't know if Brittany would get voted out over Kevin, because at this point, I don't think they see Brittany as a threat. Um, but the power veto competition is today. They're actually doing that right now. So if you want to check back later for results, uh, I will post the winner at the bottom of the info for this video. So it's getting pretty crazy in there. Ah! Um, let me know what you guys think of the recent updates in the comments and until tomorrow, much love. Edit. Hey house guests, welcome to today's...